Hi, this is Dominic and it's been a while since my last video for YouTube. So I thought this time I should talk about how to write James Bond music. There are three components uh, you have to consider and the first one is instruments. So there are um, some typical James Bond instruments, one of them being trumpets or for example um, this typical jazz guitar that you also hear in the uh, very first James Bond movies from the 60s and 70s. And of course there are other instruments as well. The second component you have to consider when you want, when you want to write uh, music that sounds like James Bond music is to produce some kind of a big band sound. That means, for example, that you have to create um, swing, which means that not all your notes sit perfectly, um, so it, they don't sound um, mechanical. And the third part, the, the third component that I want to talk about is the jazz chords, which are typical for James Bond music. And what I mean with that is that you uh, can turn any typical minor, minor or major chord into a jazzy sounding James Bond chord. So for example, I started with a chord, chord progression, um, F major, C major, A minor and E minor. And I turned the first one into um, an F major, nine the second one into a c seventh sharp nine the third chord into an a minor 11th and the fourth chord into the typical james bond chord which is an A minor major seven at ninth. And this is also the chord that you know from uh, Goldfinger. So let's dive into Cubase and see how I bring all those components together. All right, so here we are in Cubase. And as you can see, I got some instruments lined up there to reproduce the James Bond sound. Um, this is not a finished track, I have to admit, it's just 60% uh, or something. Um, it's more like a sketch to work on, uh, to, to further work out. Um, I just want to play you the uh, sound, what it sounds like together. And now let me show you how I got there, what I did um, to recreate the sound actually was to start with a piano. The first thing that I took as an inspiration is the original James Bond Goldfinger theme played here in the Maverick, which is a plugin from Native Instruments, a piano which sounds um, dirty and vintage, not so perfect clean um, as a pop music piano so I thought it would be the perfect choice to use um, um, to produce a, a jazzy sounding uh, music track which goes into the direction of James Bond. So what I have here is the original Goldfinger soundtrack the chords and when you have a look at this you see that it's alternating between some bass notes and then the rest of the chord and again two bass notes the rest of the chord and so on and also very important is the tempo which i'm working in this is 90 bpm in this case
So let's have a look what I did. Um, I had my four basic chords, which are also mentioned in the intro, which is C major, um, no, F major, C major, A minor and E minor. They already sound okayish, but I don't think they sound jazzy enough to be James Bond uh, chords. So I had to spice them up a little bit um, by adding some extra notes on top to extend the chords. And this is what I came up with. Uh, so you have to take a look at the first four bars. And if you have a closer look at the chords, you see that the fifth is missing in every chord. So what I did is I took the fifth and put it up one octave. I transposed it. Um, in that case, it's the C, which originally sits there. I transposed it one octave up. And then it looks like this. The same with the second chord. Um, with the third chord, I'm not sure if this was the fifth. I don't think so. Um, but the fourth chord also had the fifth, uh, which I transposed one octave up to... Um, alternate or not alternate just to um, make the sound more interesting and now it sounds like this yeah i would say it's already really jazzy and you could use it as a james bond music but I wasn't quite confident with the um, second chord because it's not in the same range, so to speak, as the other chords. I want to, wanted to make it, um, I wanted to put it in the same range. So I took the, um, the E and put it one octave down to make it a bass note. And I also transposed the... What was that? I think it's a G um, and I transposed it down and then it looks like this. Let me now just play you all these chords together, what they sound like. Yeah, I think we're getting there, right? And um, the funny thing is that I found out that the last chord of this um, really was the most interesting. But what I did in the next step was to um, create the same pattern as we saw in the beginning uh, in, the in the inspiration of the Goldfinger. So I used two bass notes stacked on top of each other plus the rest of the chord. Um, and I did this with all the four chords that I just created, uh, taking the root note or the bass, the, the lowest note as my bass note, alternating between the rest of the chord. As I mentioned, the funny thing is that I found that the last chord, the fourth chord, on its own sounds very interesting, so I looped it, and while looping it, I just played some higher notes on top of it. And I also, I already did this, so let me just show you how they sound like.
I used the same piano for this, for this just uh, using some higher notes. That was the first thing that I did. So let me just play you the looped notes from the chord and the notes that I put on top of this. And as you can see here, I use some notes that are uh, some that, that are semitones above from each other, so this creates a tension in the sound, a very suspense kind of drama thing, which is perfect for a thriller music uh, theme like James Bond. The next thing that I did was to uh, reproduce these notes and to layer them using other instruments. And the second layer for this was Kinetic Metal, which is an uh, instrument or a plugin by Native Instruments, which has a very extra extraordinary sound to it because um, it's some kind of a sound design tool. It has tonal components and noisy components and it's great for uh, creating music that sounds special or has a very interesting component to it. So that's what that was um, what I put on top of the uh, piano, and it sounds like this on its own. And then I put a third component as a layer on it and therefore I used the, the, the action strings from native instruments. And that was what all three components sound together, what they sound like. Uh, as you can see, I already used some EQs here to uh, make sure that the sounds do not battle each other and sit co co coherently in the mix. Um, there is another interesting component that I used for this music track. Uh, it's the Rickenbacker bass and it plays a very, very simple pentatonic theme which uh, or motif, uh, that's better. A pentatonic motif which I looped and this on its own already really sounds James Bond like. Let me show you. Yeah, I think uh, as I mentioned you can use this uh, instrument really on its own to score a James Bond like scene but in my case, I used it to underpin the rest of the instruments as my bass component. Then I have, let me see, what do I got? Yeah, you, you, uh, I, I mixed the, the English and the German terms here. I, already, I also got uh, some trumpets, um, very dark drone sounds. They sound like this. And then I also have some drums going on and therefore I used, let me see, the action strikes from Native Instruments. And the last component I want to talk about is um, the swell or the sweep 
which I used or which I created for this. And this consists of three components. First one being rise and hit. The second one being some more uh, drums from Action Strikes. And the third component just being some orchestral drums. And they on its own, they sound like this. And now all three components together from the swell. And one more time, all components together. And yeah, uh, I did not mention that I um, had some special trick here. In the eighth bar, I deleted the notes from the piano to um, create a silence. And this creates more tension even to the soundtrack. And the piano notes in the end, they sound like this. Oh, wait a minute. That was not correct. Um, let me solo this one more time. Yes, that's been that. And this is the main part which I worked with for this music project. But as it turned out, um, the progression that I uh, wrote in the beginning of the video, or which I showed you in the beginning of the video, I also found a use for this because um, I took the um, original pattern which I recreated from the Goldfinger theme and I have that being played by the piano, the kinetic metal, the action strings and the jazz guitar but I did not delete any notes uh, in this case which results in a very thick sound. All right, so that's been it. Um, that was my way to recreate James Bond-like music. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed creating this kind of music. And if you did, give me a thumbs up, um, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you have any questions or any requests for upcoming videos, just write me a message in the comments. Bye bye, see you soon.